I'm killing. Well, hi. I'm Pat. We were born and raised right here on this field by this tree by a group of marvelous and wonderful prairie dogs. Sweetest things. And now we're pickle farmers and have been for quite some time. I'd say I know my way around a pickle or two. Being a farmer, you don't got much but your produce. With us, we have our produce and we have two other things. We like to play music and we like to dance. Hey! And that's just about it. You don't come in between those two with us. I'll bite you in the face. But not always can we find good music to dance to. If we're dancing at all, it's because the music's in our heads all the time. Which is all fine and dandy, but we gotta get it on tape before we forget what even was. So we decided to make our own album. But you might be surprised to find that pickle farming isn't a steady income. So, seeing as we can't pay in pickles, or any other varieties of fruits and vegetables, we can't afford to make the album. You're probably wondering why I'm so limber. It's because I'm a yoga instructor. I teach in the mornings and then I do a little chai tea. When we first came into the pickle industry, we were approached by a large pickle corporation. And immediately we were shocked by the contract and evil pickery that was involved. So, we decided to do it independently. You're probably wondering why we're asking you for money when we own such a profitable business like our pickle farm here. Tell you the truth, pickle farm ain't going too well. Had to sell the shack last Tuesday. Sorry, I got, got water in my tear. What a hell of a day for a pickle farmer. Proud pickle farmer. Hey, Kelly. What would you say to somebody that told you pickle farming was easy? Pickle farming's easy? Shoot. I'd say put me in the room with that person, give me a pickle, and lock the door. And I guarantee you in about five minutes, that person's going to be screaming, Oh God, I shouldn't have said that! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd say.